Phosphor.friends, Earl at the Logbook.com. Let's play some ColecoVision. I haven't played this game before. I'm not sure I've ever even looked at it before. It's called Alcazar, the Forgotten Fortress. I think it's the Forgotten Fortress. Yes, the Forgotten Fortress. And um, this is a, a real rarity on the ColecoVision. Uh, the game was written by Tom Lowry and published in 1985 by Activision. It's an adventure game. You have uh, different difficulty levels. And let's get started. I don't know what any of the uh, colors mean as far as difficulty. Okay, this is pretty cool. Not sure what the uh, sound cues are telling me here. Other than that there's a giant house fly waiting to attack. Seems to be a real uh, housefly problem. Ooh, magic carpet ride. Can I... Uh... I didn't expect to have to debug this game myself. Okay, I guess I succeeded. Oil. Okay, well... Okay, so this dude with an axe is chasing me, and all I can really try to do is outrun him. The gentleman with the axe is extremely annoying. Just thought I'd put that on the record. That's it, I used a bullet to kill a housefly. And a spider. It, now, kind of large house fly, kind of large spider there, but, uh... What am I seeing on the floor? Well, that took a couple of shots to kill. need 
to be dead very soon. You can see I have kind of a a radar map thing going at the bottom of the screen, but I'm not It's showing me so very little in the way of useful information that I'm not sure how to interpret it. As far as I can tell, there is no overlay with this game, and thus there are no uh, keyboard controls. There's a locked gate there. Oh, a dude with an axe plus owl's fly. Okay. And I seem to be dead suddenly. Oh, now there's two dudes with axes chasing me around. Cannot look at map. Yeah, I... It's really kind of hard to, uh make use of the map when there are two guys with axes chasing you. Oh, it's my buddy. I'll have a mutant fly. Whoa, don't want that, whatever it is. Oh, you again. can't look at the map. You don't say. There's three dudes chasing me with axes. <sighs> Alright. Somewhere in there. Brundle fly. All right, somewhere in there, I've there got some ammo. So I have pockets full of guns, but no ammo. That's reassuring. It reminds me of uh, the precursor to Police Squad. Um, no, the precursor to the Naked Gun was a TV show called Police Squad, where <laughs> There's a scene where someone runs out of bullets and then just starts throwing gun after gun after gun at whoever is chasing him. <laughs> and it's like, wait a minute. Did we check to see if there was any ammo in the other guns? <laughs> Thank you. 
What is that? Okay. I'm guessing that was a good thing to get. Oh, hi. Okay, good. Oh. Hey, I see keys. So, here's the thing. I may have to come back and play this game more than once, because I have a feeling this is going to be one of these Ultima-type things. Oh, howdy. Okay, it looks like my game is over. Okay, and yet it's just beginning, because I definitely sense there is more to this than meets the eye, and so further investigation may be required. I need to, uh... I mean, I'm sitting here looking at... what purports to be the manual... And it's not offering me perhaps everything that I need to play this game. So we'll definitely have to do this again. We'll have to revisit the Forgotten Fortress if I don't forget.